Hey everybody, what's going on? This is Say Yes to Jess. And today we are going to discuss paper trading on TradingView. Now I recently just discovered this, so I am pretty new to it. Um, the only thing I do want to say is if anyone has been using this, you know, longer and you have any cool techniques um, that you want to share, do not hesitate to put it in the comment section because we are a learning community. And if we can all help one another grow and do better, that's what it's all about. All right, let's get to it. So on the bottom, you're going to see the option of paper trading. You will click on that and then maximize it here on the bottom right. So you can see right here, this little square, if you hover your mouse over it, it's going to say maximize panel. Now, click here and you can reset your paper trading account to whatever balance that you want to put in. So let's say realistically, you're going to put $500 in your account. You can put that amount in there. Just don't use any commas. These are my settings. So again, you can click on trade settings and this is what I have. Feel free to adjust this to your liking, but I'll wait a few seconds just in case if you want to screenshot it. And then lastly, you can actually connect your broker to it if they are on the list. So this is a, uh, some of the brokers that TradingView works with. Um, my broker for stock options is not here. So I'm just going to connect it to paper trading. OK, you will see your positions here, all your orders, your history, your account history and your trading journal. You have access to all this information. Now, once you have done that, your buy and sell button is going to be here. Your number of contracts or your lot sizes, depending on what you're using this for, that option is going to be here. I have this defaulted to one because I trade stock options. You can also click on the second to bottom panel where it says order icon and you can set limit orders or you can do market orders as well and click your take profit so you can enter a price. Same thing for stop loss or you can do dollar amounts. So if you are a stock options trader, you can enter your dollar amounts for your stop loss. Now, what I love about this is let's say you're trying to back test and you want to know like how much does your stop loss average? And let's say you average $1.25, you can go ahead and enter that there. And if you notice that while back testing or just testing in your demo or in your paper accounts, that that stop loss is working for you, once you go live, you can implement that same strategy. So again, you can do that here. Um, or you can literally like, let's say for right now, I, I'm not, this is not like a real trade. I would have gotten in a, like around here, but let's say I want to get into the cell. I just click this cell button and bam, it has entered my cell. Now, if I want to enter my take profit, I can click on here and um, enter it here, right? So let's say my take profit is going to be at 283.44. I'll just type that in here. And then let's just say my stop loss, I'm going to go down to a smaller time frame. Let's just say my stop loss is at 284.33. Again, this is not like real trading. I'm just giving you examples. So please do not come for me saying, I don't know what I'm doing. I know what I'm doing. This is just to show you how it works. So let's say that happens and we go ahead and modify the order. Once we've done that, those numbers are now reflecting. So if the trade hits the stop loss, then we'll be removed from the trade. If it hits our take profit, then it will exit the trade. You can drag your stop loss up and down just in case if you want to. So if you want to start implementing trailing stops, you can do so and just notate, you know, how many, um, how many dollars you are using a trailing stop for. So this is really cool. Um, I think it's a great feature. Plus it shows you where you got in and where you got out which I like a lot. So you can back test it for the week and identify what went right and what went wrong. Now, if you um, want to exit the trade prior to stop loss being hit or take profit, you just click the X button and it will close your position. So that's it. And you can go back and review your history. Excuse me, go back to paper trading, maximize that screen. It shows you we made a little bit of a profit. But if you go to your uh, your orders, it shows right here what our fill price was and all that jazz. You can click this icon to um, you know to to look at these items. If they don't apply to you, just take them off. I honestly don't look at the cash value of it. I'm more just my concern here was that I identify entry right. Am I utilizing my stop loss properly? And am I using take profit properly? And how, you know, how are my entries? <clears throat> what is my drawdown? 
So you can see, again, it shows where I entered and where I exited by position here, all right? You can use this with Forex as well or indices. So I'm gonna go to a Forex pair just to show you. And again, let's just say I want to, like right here, you can see, let's say I just wanna do, oh, let me delete that, just one. And I'm going in for a sell. I click sell. I can click right here to enter my take profit or my stop loss and go from there. If I want to exit, I prior to anything getting hit, I just hit the X button. So again, let's do this together. So let's put a, a stop loss. We're going to go above this previous high of 0 0.66860. Or you can use like your um, zero point, oh wait, six, eight, eight, sixty, excuse me. See, you see how I identified that I did something wrong. And let's say my take profits right here are 0. 0.66805. I modify my order and it has identified my take profit and my stop loss. For some reason, my stop did not get put in. So hold on, 0. 0.66860. I'm gonna click on the one again. Oh, I wrote it wrong. 0.66860. There we go. So there's my stop loss and there's my take profit. Again, I can push this up. So let's say I don't want to see the whole thing. I can push this up here just a little bit um, to see what's going on with my profit here at the bottom. Or if I want to see everything all together, I'm just going to maximize that panel. Look at my positions. And right now, this is where I'm currently at at the moment. So we're just dancing around. There are no profits being notated at the moment. And then again, to exit the position, if you um, if your TP or your stop loss hasn't been hit, you're going to just go ahead and click the X button, and it'll confirm it right there, you guys. So go ahead and give that a try. Let me know if it's helped you with your backtesting. Um, if you want me to do a video on backtesting, I definitely can. I have no problem doing that. And we'll go from there. But I hope you guys enjoyed the contact. Be sure to hit that subscribe button so that you can stay updated on the, all the new educational videos that I provide. Have a good one.